and perhaps a few may feel dejected because they are thinking with melancholy about the golden days. You may have realized that these English videos are a translation of an Italian version that I do for people that are non-believers or people that are just starting their Christian walk, so they're very much evangelistic in nature. And today I wanted to talk about an analogy. Some of us are approaching the end of the race called life. And perhaps a few are actually feeling dejected, looking with melancholy at the golden days or the golden years that are behind us. And I want to tell you something. Don't beat yourself up and especially don't give up because that race is not over until you are six feet under. Why this thought? Well, this week I embarked on a new project and I was inspired by a recent trip to Merida, Mexico with some friends from a church in uh, Boca Raton, Florida. And we were using pallets, we were using different uh, materials to create this internet cafe inside of this uh, church space. So I got inspired, I got some pallets, and I decided to cover a wall of the house to create a new environment. And I thought these pallets were born to serve as a platform for transport or for storage. And at the end of their run, they're either burnt or recycled. And as I was measuring, I was cutting, I was sawing, and I was nailing, I was thinking, our lives are very similar. We are born, we are carrying a purpose, and then at the end, we are either burned or recycled. And that is determined by one factor, in whose hands have we lived our lives. On one end, you have a creator that wants us to be recycled, to be transformed. On the other end, you have an enemy that wants our destruction. We all know John 10.10, 10, that the enemy comes to steal, kill, and destroy. So spiritually speaking, what was destined to become ashes actually is transformed into something new and beautiful, just like the wall behind me. The pallets that have performed a basic function now have been enhanced. They've been upgraded into something new, becoming a, a permanent part of a wall that brings the sense of warmth and coziness. In 2 Corinthians, the Apostle Paul says that, therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has passed away. And again, in Philippians, he says that, uh, he is confident that the one who has started a good work in us will be faithful to complete it. Obviously, pallets as inanimate objects cannot choose their destiny. But as Paul says, you and I have that opportunity. Those who are in Christ, those who have committed to receive him, to follow him, to accept his blood as atonement for our sins, those pallets are now becoming part of the wall. To tell you the truth, right now, physically, I feel like this pallet. All worn out, beaten pretty badly. And I can't wait to become part of this wall. So my question is, whose hands are you in? If you want to know more about it, go back to the fourth video, it's in Italian, it talks about the 30 centimeters that can save your life. Guys, have a fantastic weekend. Everything is getting cold and chilly here in Tennessee, but uh, wherever you are, make it a great weekend. i catch you next week. Ciao.